All right, what's going on friends? In this video, I'm gonna be going over this Titan solar generator. I'm gonna go over some of the specs. Now I do, I have a video that I go over all the specs and everything that comes in this kit if you buy the same kit that I bought. So I'll put a link to that at the end of this video and down in the description if you wanna watch that because I'm not gonna tell you everything. But mainly I'm just gonna hook this up to my fridge and my freezer and let, let you see how it will definitely run my fridge and freezer. And then I'm also gonna hook it up to my pellet stove. I'll go over a couple of the specs and then I'm gonna run all these. I got three extension cords here that I gotta run around my house because some reason my fridge and my freezer and my pellet stove are not sitting right next to each other. All right, this solar generator, this is the main portion up here, this bottom part right here, this is the battery. Now this battery is a 2000 watt hour lithium battery. And you can unhook this from the main portion because I think if I remember correctly, this and this together weighs about 60 pounds. It's kind of heavy so you can unhook it and it makes it a lot easier to move it around. Last time I researched this, this is probably one of the biggest solar generators that you can buy. I know you could definitely run a cabin or a small house off of this, or if I had my electricity go out and you can hook up 4,000 watts of solar panels on this. I don't know any other solar generator on the market that you can hook it up, hook up 4,000 watts of solar panels onto this solar generator. I definitely could power a lot of stuff on my house for probably quite a few days, even if I had some cloudy days. But like I said, this battery is separate. You can put like 10, 15, 20 batteries on this. Now I don't know why you want probably 15, 20 batteries, but if you put five or six batteries on here, with 4,000 watts of solar panels, you'd definitely be good to go. The Titan solar generator has a 3,000 watt pure sine wave inverter with a 6,000 watt peak. They recommend if you only have one battery to only run up to 1,500 watts continuous. And it kind of makes sense to me if you're running too many watts off of this, it would pretty much kill the battery instantly. 1,500 watts is gonna run a lot of stuff. You'll see with just my pellet stove, full-size fridge and a full-size freezer, I'm probably not even gonna closely hit 1,500 watts. And like I said, you can put 4,000 watt of solar panels into this. Now this will only, out of the 4,000 watts, it's only gonna take 2,000 watts into this. Now the reason you would put 4,000 watts on is in case you have a really cloudy day, that way you will still maybe get the 2,000 full watts that will go into this. As if you hook up, even if you hook up 1,000 watts, you never get exactly 1,000 watts of power out of your solar panels. If you know anything about solar generators, most of them only have one MPP charge controller. This one has two MPP charge controllers. Let's get to plugging in my refrigerator, freezer, and then I also got my 1,000 watts of panels that I'm gonna plug into this, and I'm gonna plug in my pellet stove. Now you just have to believe me that I'm doing all this because I'm also doing this for myself just to see what's gonna happen plugging all this in. All right, I got my fridge pulled out because for me to unplug it, I have to pull it all the way out. I'm going to just unplug it and plug this one in and then plug it back in if I can reach. Uh, uh. Alright, that. Plug. So you can see, like I said, you're just going to have to believe me. That's plugged into there. This switch here turns the DC on. I don't need DC, so but I do need AC. So let's turn this all the way up. So now I have AC. So let's plug this in. Oh, back on. Did you hear the beeps? I think if I remember correctly, this is showing how many watts going out. It's only 25 watts. Huh. I thought my fridge. These arrows are pointing down, so I know that means that it's pulling, um, pulling some power out of my battery. All right, let's go plug in my freezer. I gotta do some fang dangling. So, fang dangling, I gotta put this down through this hole. Better put something over it. I gotta put this, this chair over it. 
because my freezer and pellet stove are downstairs. Ooh, you can feel warm air coming up through there. Down there. Heading downstairs. The pain in the butt. I hope you enjoy this video. <laughs> but at least I'll know what'll happen. I gotta get this over to my pellet stove, I think. <sighs> All right, I got enough. I'm gonna plug that in last. All right, let me get this freezer unplugged and plug back in. We'll open this up. I, didn't, I guess I didn't do this with the fridge, but like I said, you just gotta believe me. Holy buckets, how do you reach it? Oh, there. Plug it back in. There we go. I'm gonna plug this telescope and plug it in real quick. Plug it in. There we go. We'll go upstairs. I still have my uh fridge plugged in. Now we're at 650 watts. Now I'm definitely draining that battery a little bit. It's at 99%. All right, now I have my solar panels, just one array of 1,000 watts plugged into there. And that brought it down to now I'm only pulling out 226 watts that's coming out. So that changed it from uh, whatever it was. I'll put it here on the screen what it was before that. So now it's saying with my pellet stove, a freezer and a refrigerator, I could run this for eight hours. I'm gonna go unplug the pellet stove and just let the fridge and freezer on there and see if that goes from taking the power out to putting power in. Unplug this, plug it back in. It's starting to shut down anyway, but oh, everything's still running. The fans were still running. Only thing that maybe wasn't running was the auger. Now we still got the freezer plugged in up here. All right, let's go back upstairs. See what we're doing. And I'll, I'll take you outside and show you that thousand watts. All right, now I got my, now you'll see my thousand watts. I just kind of threw them out there in my yard. If I'd probably move them around, I'd probably get more going in. But right now, instead of pulling, Pulling power out because you can see this blinking and those arrows going up. I have 119 watts going in. So pretty much I could run all day long if I have sun out there with this fridge and freezer. Now I think if I would just plug that freezer into there, maybe the fridge and the freezer, if I had sun, I could probably go days. Right now it's only like 26 degrees outside. So I'm not really too worried about my fridge and freezer. If something would happen, something would happen, I would just put my stuff outside. All right, let me take you outside and I'll show you my thousand watts that I got just randomly sitting in my yard right now. Oh, what the heck? Huh. Here's one 500 watt and here's my other 500 watt. Yes, yeah, either. That one over there is getting shaded, and that one's slowly getting some shade. So that ain't helping me, but I kind of have a big tree in my way over here. So if I had that sitting on top of my shed, it would definitely be a lot better. I hope you learned something from watching this video with me plugging in my pellet stove, my full-size fridge, and my full-size freezer. And then I tried to hook it up a thousand watts of solar panels. It was really windy out there today. So if I had them hooked, like I said, hooked onto my shed, I know it would have worked a lot better, but it is like 26 degrees out today. So like I said, I will put links to everything that I used in this video down in the description. I have, a, we'll have a link to this solar generator, 
which like I said, you can buy a kit that has everything and that's probably definitely the easiest way to go just to buy that kit that has everything. You can buy it with no solar panels, 500 watts of solar panels, 1,000 watts, 1,500 watts, and it just kind of goes in 500 watt increments. If you have any questions, put that down in the comments also. Give this video a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button to help support my channel. God bless and have a great day.